Mm. Start. Start now. Yeah. Start with your phone. Yeah. Start with your Android. Yeah. You know, don't wait until you buy an iPhone 11, na yeah. lights, na studio, na blueberry, in your yeah. like shoot content. <laughs> yeah. Start where you are. In your living room. I shoot my content videos in my in my office at home. Yeah. And see plastic plants yeah. or anything. I just shoot as is. So start with what you have and then you'll scale up from there. Yeah. The minute your, your business starts giving, then you yeah. are able to reinvest back into your business. But create content just because it makes you happy to create. Yeah. The other thing is, um, you know, be yourself. Yeah. Um, be yourself. Be true to who you are and always do what makes you happy. Yeah. Be careful of also how you make others feel when you're creating your content. Yeah. Ben, uh, oh, oh, oh. Hi guys, this is yet another episode of the Psycho Podcast. I am so excited, man. This is uh this is episode five, season two, episode wow. five. And 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 now I'm Niliwambia. Imwaka ni consistency, quality, good content. It's crazy, man. In fact, uh last week you guys can already tell the sound. The sound is now becoming excellent. I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna be used in a lot of engineering schools, just <laughs> as an epitome or the standard <laughs> of how you should do your stuff. And big shout out to my team, man. Big shout out to Steve, big shout out to Shege, big shout out to Rispa. <laughs> this is the whole blueberry production. So if you have anything audio production wise, or big even up. video, give them business. So <laughs> I'm going to talk about, let's first talk about the previous video that we did with Susan Silantoy. Um, it had mixed feelings, mixed reactions, but all in all, it was good. With every podcast season, I always say that we have to do a political episode because we have to be in the know-how of things. We need to know how things are running politically in Kenya, around the world, because it affects us. We can't be too cool for politics. So these are some of the top comments we had. Uh, Okumu Ben. Trust me, that's not my other account. Um, <laughs> <Yeah. yeah. laughs> so, uh, Okumu Ben is saying, the sound was A1++++ in this episode. Kudos to the sound engineer. Big shout out to you, Blueberry. Big up. Uh, Tausi Tausi <laughs> is saying, finally, the sound is 100% perfect. Bravo, Ben. Thank you so much, Tausi. Caroline Miner is saying, I'm here for all the amazing info I've learned. And guess who's going to educate her friends? Say Carol and Enda sound kama international diplomat. Akisha ina content yetu hapa. Tuma kitu Carol. Tuma kitu. Um Mukami Mukami Kinyua. Wow, this was actually an interesting one. She said the answers to the riddles are blackboard, bed and a shirt. Yes. So I asked uh, I asked a riddle of um of a riddle of. I asked a riddle of, uh, uh that was going what's black when it's clean, white when it's dirty and that's a blackboard. I also asked what has a neck but has no head. And that's a shirt. Gosh. And Mukami Kinyo, please, please DM me, Mukami. I think I should you give see me you here for brainstorming. This. I'm like, Kai. yeah, you're just floating, eh? You should hear. You wait, <laughs> wait till you hear. Shule. Wait till you hear, Leo Sasa. <laughs> so, um, Mukami Kinyo, please send me a DM. I'll give you a Vaseline hamper. I have it for you. It has, it has lotions. It has this, uh, it has the PJ, which is petroleum jelly. And more. So just send me a DM on Instagram at Ben Psycho B N C Y C O. Um, who else? Wh which other comment should I go? Uh, Furaha Osodo was saying this is mind blowing. Thank you so much, Ben and Silantoy, for this. Yes. Uh, Lucy Karwitha, sound is one hundred percent. Kudos to the engineers of Blueberry. Wow, guys gave amazing feedback. They want to smile at our yeah, was it? Yeah. But there was a there was a comment <laughs> I saw. This, but do you remember the comment where somebody? What what did somebody say? The question was, somebody said something about what has a head but doesn't think or something like that. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I asked. I asked here, um, what what has a head but? Oh, oh, so that person became a bit creative. So somebody oh. joined in on the comment section and they were like, you know what, these riddles of yours are boring. I have right. the best riddle. <laughs> and then this person asked, uh, what has a head but does not think? Does not does not use it, and then they said my former sound oh engineer. Oh my god! <laughs> well, Where? it's still it's still it's still it's still. Who was the sound engineer? It you? was still Blueberry, but we were still upgrading <laughs> and learning a few. Well, also me actually. <laughs> to be honest, it was, <laughs> <laughs> was it? So that's this, that's some of the feedback that I can remember from um that I that I've those are some of the comments that I had from you guys on the previous video that I did with Susan Silantoi. Thank you so much. We're discussing about Israel and Palestine. 
such a complicated, sophisticated topic. And I saw some guys also uh, saying that we can't be discussing about what's happening in the Middle East and yet we've not tackled some of the local problems or regional problems like like uh, the, the clash, the conflict that's happening in Ethiopia mm-hmm. with the whole Tigray. We'll do that video later on. You know, you know, with Ethiopia, they had shut down all the information sources, so it becomes very hard to get data. But I'll get that for you because I have a bit of that. Um, yes, so, by the way, before we even continue, if you're a first-time viewer and this is the first time you're watching this video, please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, leave a like on this video, leave a comment and share. Now, let me leave you with the riddle for today. Mm-hmm. Are you guys ready? Are you ready as well? So, I'll try. It's complicated. Uh, uh-huh. It's not complicated. It's just mind-boggling. I'm even saying things like mind-boggling. I'm I'm you. To me change. To me change. Wow. Ooh, we, we have changed everywhere. <laughs> so the riddle is, I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? You might just win yourself the next Vaseline hamper. Let me know if, you, if you're going to get that right. The next riddle. You, me- you measure my life in hours and I serve you by expiring. I'm quick when I'm thin and slow when I'm fat. The wind is my enemy. Who am I? My hair. Not. My hair. Wait, okay, how, hair. wait so wait, let, let, let's say, you're saying your hair, so you, me- you measure my life in hours, I serve you by expiring. Okay, not the expiry part. Um, the wind is my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not here, but you know, you know we have to give for a trial. Trial. Try. Eh? So nanti kapo kwa comment see me. Ni meji hold kusema um the the answers ndio ni wapatia a chance. Yeah, they are nothing. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much it about what I was supposed to do. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Have I, Rispa? I've done well. Now let's move on very fast to today's topic. Today's topic is amazing. I have been planning to do this topic for months. And this is not a like at your Zakuchocha. I have a very good friend of mine known as Coco. She, has, she goes by so many names. She has so many titles, so many hats. Say it, so the I, first don't, one. I, I don't even it's Coco, mm-hmm. Vanessa, Ndinda. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, the it, influencer inf- was the, yeah, they all <laughs> The influencer whisper. So yes. I've been trying to get Coco to come on the show so that we can have this conversation about content because she is amazing. She she's going to Thank introduce you. herself, but let me just give you a background of what Coco does. Coco is an influencer manager at one of the biggest agencies in this in the region, actually, not just in the country. Oh, let me look at this camera. In the world. In the world, actually. Yeah. And this company is Ogilvy. Ogilvy handles some of the biggest brands that you know of, some of the biggest campaigns. So getting Coco here has been a challenge. I na na Coco. After kuongea na ya, kaniambia kwanza nene ni funge na niombe. Nikeenda mimi uyo machakos katoloni. I was there fasting and praying. <laughs> then I came back. She told me, first of all, to speak to her people. Then I spoke yeah. to her people. There was, she was... <laughs> I am just happy to have you Gold. here, Coco. Yes. Karibu sana on the show. Asante sana. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. I'm so honored. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah. I'm very excited. Thank you so much, man. You can introduce yourself. Like, you know, the floor is yours. Um. Hi, 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 hi. My name is Vanessa Ndenda. I go by Coco uh, Van Vane on all my socials. Also by the influencer Whisperer KE. I am an influencer strategist and an influencer manager at Ogilvy Africa. I have... Um, had the opportunity to launch some incredible influencer campaigns for some incredible um, companies um, under Ogilvy, you know, some of them being EABL, um, NCBA. We hey, worked on NCBA, NCBA together. That ma- and I stressed ta- Ben. In fact, we need to tell that story today. That's, eh? that's, that's going to be part of the story. Um, Coca-Cola, uh, Philips, um, and it's endless, you yeah. know. I've, I've really had such an amazing experience and especially during covid i can say influencer marketing has really shot up yeah and a lot of people think it's been a really d- difficult time yeah but surprisingly mm-hmm. enough companies instead of pulling away money yeah. for influencer marketing have even tripled on especially on digital on influencers on influencers yes we are going to talk about that but karibu sana kwenye show Asante. i am so happy to have you and you look amazing man thank you who are you who are you wearing thank you <laughs> hey you are, it's like you're waiting for that question atauliza sangapi tell us who you're wearing man 
So I love um, Kenyan brands. I actually advocate to wear Kenyan brands because I really believe in um, buy Kenya, Jenga, yeah, Kenya. Yeah, and I can attest to that. Really. Right? Yeah. And to be honest, Kenyan brands have amazing quality clothes. So yeah. let me start from my jewelry. So my jewelry is Kipato. Um, mm -hmm. I really love brass. All you need yeah. to you know, is to just get a brass polisher and they yeah. last you forever. Yeah. Um, the kimono is from Icon by Chris Njoki. My um, top is by Shop Zetu. That's yeah. a sister of Vivo. And then my pants, one of my favorite, they're from Siri Studio. Yeah. And my shoes hey. are from uh, Sip Dada. Yeah. Hey, for those, for those of you guys who are listening to us on the audio platform, Spotify, iTunes, you better go to the YouTube channel so that you can just see you how see. amazing Coco looks. You look amazing, man. <laughs> Thank you so, very much. So, Karibu Sana, and let's just get straight to it. Content creation, man. Mm -hmm. I think the space has really exploded. It's like yeah. it's like it's like the way we had an era for radio, and then we had an era for TV, you know. Right. And then now we had the newspapers have always been there, but yeah. now I feel like everything now this is the new era. This is the era of content, you know. Yes. And people are changing the 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 areas that they've been that mm -hmm. like the way guys consume stuff has really changed it has i remember people are very impatient nowadays oh yeah yeah trust tell very. me about it i give them a podcast this week two hours later they're like ah in poa you in guinea you in guinea una edit ama like bro atavan that is just work even you know <laughs> and it's humbling it's humbling oh, when people Lord. want more yeah but then now you see it pushes you and it it kind of you know yeah it, it it takes a lot and and I also think people at some point will also discuss about how it's not so easy creating content. So, eh, say that again. It's, it's not. It's not so easy creating content. Let me tell you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Tell us, I get okay. so many DMs. Yeah. Um, and especially when I launched the Influencer Whisperer series. This week we're on episode six, imagine. Um, and a lot of guys think that from one episode, you will know how to be an influencer tomorrow. You'll find a company paying you 250,000. I'm just like, my friend. Welcome to the this jungle. This is a lot. Yeah. You create content and you feel exhausted. Yeah. You create content and it gets half the views it got last year, <laughs> last time. Oh, and you're just it. feeling like, Sasa Mimi, Unaisha, Nimanani. Unaisha, Unaisha tu pole pole. Who do I belong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, first of all, the Influencer Whisper, the Influencer Whisperer series, yeah. what's, what's that about? What do you talk about? Ah, um, the Influencer Whisperer series was really birthed from the questions that I used to get from people. Mm -hmm. um, and not just people who are trying to join the influencer space, but also influencers who I have had the chance to work with. Um, and we just, would just have... Say, just say me. Just, like just Ben me. Psycho. Yeah. Just say, yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, with, with how I do my management is I really um, strive to have a personal connection with every influencer yeah. even if there are a hundred influencers that i'm working with at a go which yeah. is happening even now um i make sure that within your campaign period i have called you i have spoken to you i have heard you i have understood how you think i have asked you you know are you struggling um and so they had a lot of questions yeah. Atawa se unadhani wame make it wako na maswali basic na shindwa ala we unongea na feel nika kuna maloblo hapo hivi like like surely si ungei advertise tu kwa gazeti badala ya kuja kunianika hapo kwa hiyo audience unajua hiyo audience wana niona kama Moses like wana niona ni kama i know a lot a king of content but if you hear the questions that i was asking so how we we started working with Coco we've always known each other for for, for yeah. a while and then uh, you, we were having a conversation sometime back. It was in December. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, like, uh, your, your January, I did not have any, like, gig mm -hmm. coming, the new coming year. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that that phone call would actually, because we were just talking, talking. And then can you By the way, can you do a campaign for this NCBA. bank? NCBA. Ilikuwa mimi nikula kichwa tulikuwa tume propose a few um influencers yeah. alafu client alikuwa ana a few thoughts na wase wengine yeah. so we had to drop so we had to find a storyteller because pushing a bank yeah. ni boring oh. say nani atasikiza o oh, nini 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 standing order yeah, no savings nini so i needed to find somebody who's a storyteller who has a platform yeah. who has an audience yeah. and is funny Ben called me. Yeah. And my mind is constantly racing. I was like, by the way, Ben. Yeah. Unafanya nini unaweza fanya bank? Wasi niwaambie ile zile 
Yani <laughs> nilikuwa ni, ni like hata sasa hii nimeshikilia ATM. That's how connected I am to banks, you know? Cuz by the way at that time like I was so low and then the new year was coming and I was like, "Oh my god, I don't have gigs." Yeah. Then I remember the quote you gave me. Um to be honest, I had actually not been paid like that much money uh, from a from a single campaign. Wow. And that that was a lot of money. I can't wow. say how much it was. Yeah. So I remember uh I almost like promised I I I, I almost overpromised. Like I was like, "Ah, Unataka ni tattoo. Yeah. I can tattoo my forehead, I'll tattoo my arms. I'll do yeah. a video for you every day. I'll even sing for you guys a song, you know, like a thank you and CBA. <laughs> you know, like I was ready to go the whole way. And I had to like tell you, okay, we need to make it work. You, it needs to make sense. Yes, yes, it needs to make you sense. Know? So, so uh, being a big campaign, I was very very I was very I was like a bit nilikuwa nimetense ki plan. In fact, mm. even I remember the first video I sent you. I sent you the I, first. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? this? In inu went I sent you the first video. <laughs> and then I remember you calling me like, "Ben, um are you are you okay? Is this is this your all?" But let me tell you why I sent such a video. I was yeah. so scared of, you know, yeah. like pissing you guys off. I don't yeah. want to like be extra, you know, I need to be a bit serious. You need and bank. Then, yeah, and then you are like ben, big no. opportunity. And I remember I was to look Mombasa at that time. I was mm. in I was in Kwanza nakumbuka hiyo video uliketi tu kwa kiti. Yeah. Uka decide <laughs> uketi nyuma ya pool. We should video. I'm the ben. What the hell is this? <laughs> But then minute kona jua hapa hapa ni me overthink, unajua? And then now when you talk when you oh called me and you assured God. me and you assured me that you know what just go all out and be yourself and sell sell it as the way you would sell any And any why was thing. it important for you to be yourself? What did I tell it's, you? It's it's it it first of all that's first of all how people know me as. Exactly. So the connection is already there. If if you stay true to yourself, the connection is already there. Right. And then whatever you're selling now people will be more interested. Yeah. But if you change who you are because of a brand, that's not a brand you should be working with in the first place. A, a, yeah, it becomes so hard to deliver and it, you lose the connection. Right. So you won't get the engagement. And then the next board meeting what asem? Ah, wao msia naga ma followers. Niliwaambia hizo au ni wakununua. Because your engagement <laughs> yeah. isn't matching. Okay. Exactly. So I learned a lot from from that campaign. Yeah. And then later on I I started understanding how this business works. Yeah. And by the way since then I've had so many I've worked with so many so even, many brands. even right now I'm working with so many campaigns and I thank yeah. God for it, you know. And it's because there are few elements that I've come to understand. So mm-hmm. I I had asked guys on my Instagram to send yeah. me questions And then once they send me questions I'm, we are going to be addressing these questions and then we dissect them. That that would have been that's I feel like that's better. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's okay? good. But before yeah. you proceed, please please. Um I remember vividly that conversation and it's actually the recent episode we've posted up on the Influencer Whisperer series where we're talking about authenticity, personality and just being yourself. And I and yeah. I say and I say that it's great to admire someone and it's great because there's a mistake you are doing. You are going on Twitter looking at what other influencers were doing That's what I did. and you're like but what I have in mind is not what other people are doing. Me I'm like Ben, if I needed them, yep. ningeenda nikualipa. Mbona yeah. basi nimekupatia kazi? You know, so guys really get they get consumed by what's already out there. Yep. Where now they feel like them them by themselves are not enough. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Well, in real sense, I've come to you because you're exactly what I need. Yep. The minute you start changing your personality you're wasting my money. Definitely. That's now what You're wasting my money. And I had a conversation with you and I was just like Ben, if they're going to fire you for being yourself, yep. Then that's not a gig you needed. Yeah. And that those are the conversations that I have with a lot of people actually. Yeah. yeah. And this so some one of the reasons that I started the Influencer Whisperer series is to create a safe space for creatives, people trying to join the industry, people already in the industry yeah. to have this conversation yep. without feeling like somebody is bashing them, somebody is talking down on them, yeah. someone is is telling them, "Oh, where's he? Where's he? A content creation. Yeah. I have me a loving to Kwanza." You know. Yeah. And guys think you have to have so much money yep. to start content creating. Yep. They they think You need like a nice sitting room, you know, with like those blue couches, you know, like, you know, some those fake plants. Like right. nowadays those plants, baka mo what do we find baka hizo plants zimepanda base. Just squeeze in Lionel, you know, 13,000. And that's just plastic, man. I was, Imagine. you know. So, uh, in fact, maybe we can start from there. Mm-hmm. One of the one of the ways to find your footing in content creation yeah. is being as natural as possible. Like that's like that's like the standard rule. Yeah. 
be yourself because be authentic content creation uh, how i've seen it in my opinion it's just something that gives you a connection with a bigger audience yeah in short it's like what what's unique about you that's connecting with so many other unique guys so mm. it's that special thing about you that guys are coming to your page for so no matter how funny you are you can't be you can't be jugush or you can't be crazy they're already there or themselves so I feel like if you ever want to find a footing, the first thing is by just being yourself. If you try and change a lot of that stuff, yeah. it becomes hard to sustain it. And eventually, mm-hmm. people catch up with you. They're like, ah, kumbe umse ukwa, kumbe umse ukwa ivyo, kumbe umse ukwa ivyo. What do exactly. you have to say about that? And you can't sustain it because that's all natural. Yeah. And this is how people get into depression because you've been somebody else for so long Yeah. that you've lost your own identity. Yep. You're not happy. Yeah. Um. Um... When you think about content creation and influencing, yeah, why do you follow some of the people that you do? It's because they make you feel good. Yep. It's because there's been such a huge culture of society to tell us that you can't be too loud. By the way, me, I'm loud. Mm-hmm. I think, oh, <laughs> wow, what a shocker. <laughs> yeah. My sound Surprise. engineer is like, oh my God, copy <laughs> volume. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> As you should be, man. <laughs> God. Yeah. Ay, yeah. Ay, 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 no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> it's to try to balance <laughs> 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 no, I remember you asked her, are you sure it's supposed to be this close? <laughs> so continue. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> by the way, guys, if you don't watch this episode. <laughs> Okay. Um society yeah. wame tufanya to feel ni kama ufai kwa hivyo. Yeah. Like, ongea kidogo, pole pole. Yeah. Eh? When you point you know um kuna time in my life um nilikuwa nimeambia ju when ni mzungu ufai kuongea Kiswahili. <laughs> Guy, nikashindwa wewe. <laughs> Wait, guys will tell you that. It, when I was very young. Yeah. She was some sh- some show show yeah. Man. But you see, that's how you grow. Yeah. That's how you grow. And then I also um Milikwa Nitwam Koloni growing up. Yeah. Because Did of you my grew skin up in color. Na- Nairobi? No, I've never lived in Nairobi. Mm. Well, now, mm. but I grew up in Thika. Mm-hmm. So the school I went to, I was one in two pointies in the entire school. Steto. No, Nilikwa Shulikwa Nitwa Thika Memorial. Alafu ndio baadaye nikaenda Steto but mm-hmm. Steto ilikuwa na mapointi. Alafu yeah, unajua size wa wasee wako a bit more mature. Yeah, yeah. Hawako racist or yeah. anything. Um but, but growing up school. yeah primary wasa alikuwa ni tam colony because that's where they now start understanding wazungu walika mkutu. You know, alafu <laughs> wajui this coming from kids. This is coming from kids. Kids are mean, man. And also the kids, right? So when I got older to understand mkoloni ilikuwa nini, yeah. I felt really bad because I was like I can't believe that people and that time at our corner jo difference ya point na mzungu for yeah. yeah i know i know man so, so sorry such for comments that. Yeah. um you see now just taking that as an experience um i i i learned to try my best yeah kukua less of yeah. who i was yeah because i was already standing out so much yeah. now asawali kwa na poke on me yeah. i did everything i could to not stand out yeah until nikafika high school yeah and i realized by the way this what i have yeah is gold it's unique it's gold definitely right? it's gold yeah and i started following influencers and people online who spoke their minds yeah i don't know if you've watched episode of bn cta oh manze bn I'm a fan jazz. of my fan of bn bn speaks his mind unapologetically yeah and i love it you know yeah. so i follow such people because they bring out the best in me they make me feel like it's okay to be myself even when i was shooting the first episode of um in it uh, influencer whisper yeah nili kwa ni meji second guess nikasema manze si nime shout up sijui hata nione nitafute mali nitapunguza volume but i realized by the kama utaki kuona personality yangu then ni leave. unfollow you know what i mean because yeah. this is who i am definitely you know i cannot start ati, hi ben how are yep. you yep. thank you so much for having me yes 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 so yes. i didn't know you're being marketing. decent ah interesting concept yeah <laughs> i know i know that no I've we've I've experienced I experienced the same thing as well. I was very uh, I've always been very outspoken. Mm-hmm. Um and then also now like you know me in the music because I started off as an artist. I'm sure you guys know that. Mm-hmm. So in music uh it's like you know you you have to act cool. You don't have to say hi to everyone, you know. Mm. Yet me when I get to places I used to like mazina washwa kujoke na umse nataka kucheka na ule. 
So guys are always like no maze unachoma brand unachoma hii kitu mzee na utapata mado unajua and then other other artists would do the same and they would you know it's like the more you are you, you look like you're cool and just compose the same mm. thing you're saying it's like mm. even even talking slowly and i remember i used to be a huge fan of whiskey and whiskey would go to interviews and whiskey whiskey talks very slowly very slowly so it's like So how you day star boy we have your new album so I'm, I'm saying this is this is our Nigerian presenter is there how you day your new album is dominated for BT yeah, yeah yeah bless god man bless god bless god bless god everything man you know everything nice star boy empire you know but me <laughs> never mind you meeting yeah. five years kumpata <laughs> koyo interview na na say bless god five minutes <laughs> so so I look at the west and I'm like yo is this how we're supposed to talk because mm. me every time I'd go to a show ni kona mdomo maze yani mimi nika ko host home say me nita kwa show so I really used to I used to I used to also suppress it so that I so that I feel like maybe I'm being cool you know yeah and i remember when jiri is always the one who don't listen so it was always like that way important to like a cool kid up yeah. why are you trying to be a superstar you know and the moment now i be- i came alive yeah now everyone now wants you to be alive in fact now yeah. when you're low they're like ai uko na shida una kitumia content una need do your lunch you know like they don't want to don't want to see you out. so yeah but the the day that i decided to come alive is the day i connected to a lot of people Yeah. Uh, and and I have always said it, uh, the first time I noticed this gift was when I went to St George's Girls. We were going there to perform again. Mm. And then I cook one MC. Mm-hmm. So because we've gone as church guys and now I'm like guys are like okay but now now you just let's not talk for your team. When I MC that gig it was wild. I remember like later on chicks would come over and like yo man we liked what you do, did so I was like uh the songs so i so i thought i'm taking yeah. feedback for the songs yeah cheza kama we i knew that was gonna be a banger you oh, know God. and they were like no 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 just you the way you were talking the way yeah. you, you know the way and i was like okay so there's something in there yeah. so the more so the, one of the tips about content creation mm-hmm. and if you really want to go far with it or if you want to really blow up if you're a pole person please just remain like that there are people yeah. there are people who just like what what but hey that's that is stress that is stuck with a shout no joke yeah so just keep it keep it like that So do we go straight to the questions to sure. some of the questions? Mm-hmm. First question was how to come up with a proposal and a rate card. Jehovah. Mm-hmm. A rate card. So that's a tough question as well. Yeah. Interesting confuses a lot of people. A lot, even me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. B- b- because some people don't know how to value themselves, right? Some yeah. people overvalue. Yeah. You know like shanza kuweka hapo one post utalipa 200k kwa sababu uliona sort soul pia ona lipa 200k. Sababu kwa sababu utapunguza kiasi utafanya na 180. And you just joined the business like two <laughs> hours ago, day. man. Yeah. How 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 does somebody go about valuing themselves? So, I think the first thing that I would tell you is that your numbers do not um as in Unajua msia anaza kwa na 80,000 followers mm-hmm. na hana content. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a lot. That's that's very popular on Instagram. Hana content. Ni mapicha tu. Mm-hmm. So me as a brand, hata sijui nifanye nini na wewe. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because fine uko na 80k followers, ume post mapicha kadhaa, lakini hujawahi nionyesha what you can do with my brand. Mm-hmm. So hata ukikama ukiniambia oh I want 100,000, I'm just like for what? Mhm. Yep. You know. Yeah. So even when I meet guys who wanataka kuinge into the space. Now 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 ulizanga aya cheki unakunywanga nini? Let me use that example cuz me would deal na EBL. Yeah. Unakunywanga nini? Gordon Zaya sawa. Anza kutengeneza cocktail. Ama unakunywanga tu hivyo. You know start doing something. Do peer get attention of the brand. Ndio hata wase akitakuwa na wewe wanaona yeah. already what you've been doing or what you've been able to do. Yeah. Sasa wanaweza kuona how they can plug in. Yeah. So red card nataka kusema in a depend with your engagement watch out followers your engagement is key for real yeah i used to think it's the followers first in fact yeah. at that time a lot of guys in the industry when instagram instagram instagram, instagram. was instagram was just uh, growing mm-hmm. uh and a lot of celebrities joined instagram yeah. then later on guys discovered by the way you can bypass this whole process by just buying a lot of followers and people bought followers even when you look at uh, even when you go to a lot of um, musician pages most people are always like 275000 775000 mm-hmm. 150000 how many likes then when you go picture yake hiyo picture iko na 1000 likes alafu comment section image of fire emojis na mwangi huko ako na 4000 lil mine huko hivyo amekuja ako na like 20000 followers <laughs> but he has like a thousand comments right it's engagement and maybe not everyone is doing it but i'm doing it I'm making a difference. Mm-hmm. Now I was say kwanza ku buy followers. I hardly 
I'm just like, no. So do you, can you tell if somebody has bought followers? Of very quickly. What are some of the things? Your you following doesn't match your engagement. Mm-hmm. So they need to be directly it proportional. It needs to be proportional. It needs to make sense. And I get it. There are bad days. Ata mimi kuna, let's say, for example, um, the first video I posted for the Influencer Whisperer series, actually the second one, got 28,000 views. Mm. And I have about, at that time I had about 5,000 followers. So it had more engagement than even your phone following. Yo, that stuff was blowing up. Imagine. My reels get uko 30,000, 40,000. Yeah, so you'd find my um nime post reel alafu ime do so well yeah but now later on una post reel ingine ume put in effort mpaka ume have makeups eh hata ifiki half and you're just like what is happening tell me so about it so content creation is very tricky because but you see also your focus and i even told chris the guy i do the influencer whisperer series with yeah. my focus right now ata kama ina new miza that moja ilipata 28000 views na sai yenye nilipost last week imepata 500 nice songi yeah you know karibu kupigia instagram there is a bug on my page yeah kuna shida hapa yeah kwa sababu kama ni ku, ku improve content ni improve yeah. nimeva makeup nimefa yeah. you know yeah. um but una come to realize Niliambia Chris stack hata kuangalia hizo engagement sai nataka ku make sure tu nime post out content yep. ndio mseo akiwai kam kwa page yangu yep. anaona ude mako na content Con- mara content. moja yep. na ni consistent yep 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 the other thing is my loyalty if i kuwa kwa views your fans ama your followers yeah inafaa kwa kwa craft yako to be on what you do and this is something BN said on CTA. By the way, kama ham watching CTA, please go and watch them. Yeah, you need They're to watch really uh, BN CTA. CTA is this, yeah. just yeah. search CTA on YouTube. Yeah. You'll find it. Ali kwa nasema, your fans leo atakupenda kesho wakupendi. Definitely. Lakini kama wo unajua content inyo una put out. Yeah. Uki watch a year from now. Yeah. Unasema, I would still say the same thing. Yeah. That's all that matters. So when it comes to rate card, check your engagement. Look at if a client is approaching you, how much will it cha- uh, cost you to purchase the things that you need to create content for that particular client? Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes na 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 working in na wa say unamlipa one hundred thousand alafu na kuambia. By the way, uh, si unitumia product na shindwa. Mm, you do you na kulipa uwezi buy because even to me it makes me feel like first of all you're not even a consumer of my brand. Mm-hmm. So even I should not even have you on my campaign. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So make sure you always factor in how much it's going to cost you mm-hmm. to purchase the things that you need to create that content. Second of all, check out your engagement. Engagement above following. Always. Always. Engagement above following. That's very yes. important. Yes. Very important. And then the third thing is um, talk about deliverables. Sazingine, and you can tell um say ajoy pata job, you know, kwa sababu utamwambia um hi so niko na budget ya 100k yeah. atakwambia nita post insta story kila siku nita post reel kila siku nita post igtv every <laughs> weekend tutabeba bana hapo valley road tutachikika wale of leather i don't know why they use that marketing yeah. but yeah i'll say like you'll do the whole shebang as in so unamwambia no 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 nataka unipatie structure kwa yeah. sababu pia utaki page yako ika billboard mhm so let me let's go back to the rate card. So for yeah. example, if 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 I'm a if I'm a content creator yeah. and you guys feel like you really want to work with me yeah. and let's say I give you a rate card of like 200,000. But you're 200,000. Yeah. Ni ni ni, ni 200,000. Yeah, uh, let's say for example I have broken it down. So I've said like 200,000 is for a one month full campaign on Instagram with this number of videos, this numbers of Insta stories. That's very important. Break it down. Break it down. Say so this amount of money yeah. is what I'm I'm uh, um is worth Ooh. Two IG stories, yep. two IG reels, yep. twelve IG stories, yep. na tweets ka twelve. Yep. So you need to have that breakdown. Yeah. And then also it needs to make sense kwa when you type post. Yeah. See leo kesho the next day. I mean achoka na wewe na ku unfollow very fast. Yeah. So so the, the question is, do like do you guys who work in agencies, mm. do you ever dismiss somebody just because of their rate? Is there a room for like negotiate negotiation where you call them back and you're like, yo, we just feel like your rate card is a bit too high. Maybe, uh, can you work with this uh, budget and all? Is there? Is, do you guys ever do that? I'm a tomb. No, I'm a mtu akisha eka ivo pia. I neko kwa blacklist. Na pigi account. Tabu eka eka. Let's say one zero one zero. Mweka kwa yo blacklist. Let's try. Oh, so one zero one million. Yeah, one zero one million. <laughs> is there like room for negotiation? Um. Or? So yes, always, always, always there should be. 
shida uingia saa zile influencer hataki kusonga oh, okay. you know what i mean yeah. kwa sababu okay sometimes also unaonanga na nilikamkula si wase wote wa agency wako na wanajua how to go about ku deal na influencers oh yeah kwa sababu mse atakam aseme hi i have a campaign for 60000 are you willing to work with us mm-hmm. influencer aseme 60000 z mm-hmm. alafu akuje kwangu aniambie alikata hiyo do na muuliza did you ask them what they what can do what can you give me Yeah, for 60,000. Yeah. Because that's another conversation, right? Yep. Nikikam ni kwambe niko na 60k. Yeah. Utaniambia sawa. Siwezi kupatia IG TV. Mm-hmm. But I can give you a reel. Yeah. Unaanza tu kuongea vizuri. Okay. Unaanza yeah, and that's how you build relationships, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So there's always room for negotiation. But pia influencers wanafaa kuwa flexible. Yeah. Ndio waweze ku You know? ku 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 kuuliza okay sawa so uko na budget yeah. how much yeah. you know yeah yeah that's my Good take one. another question from this is actually a friend of mine sly is asking how do you make Hi, this sly. uh yeah how how do you make this fun oh, let me just read it from bora bora na soma hapa ndio ndio was dani ati na soma kitu na soma kitu um it's a, how do you make this fun to me it really mm. feels like a slave of the internet very very important question and Can I, let me try and then you can you can uh, you can unezongezea kitu mm. that's why it's very important that before you start creating content uh, you you draw the map as a long term plan not just as a short term thing mm. such that you are working towards a certain purpose and a certain fulfillment mm. so whether you get the views or not there's a purpose you're doing for example if you start a youtube channel let's say for children and these kids you just want to train kids to do something specific yeah your satisfaction should be coming from those kids um those kids doing what you what you've been trying to teach them or seeing more kids grow in that specific area mm-hmm. but if you join content creation with the mindset for okay now I, i've seen coco is getting 28000 mm-hmm. maybe i should try and do 20000 and numbers are good numbers are okay but if you start going that direction it means you'll start compromising a lot uh, about your own vision for you to fit the numbers at that time then now you'll be working for you'll be working for the system or for the for the numbers and all and yes because your loyalty works. is to what because your loyalty now is that is to the numbers exactly so it, and it, not your craft so you start losing yourself in the process right. and then once once you start losing yourself it's now you start feeling like this is now too much yeah. this is work and all that stuff yeah. what do you what do you have to say about that Am um I? um when it comes to feeling like something is a slave Yeah. First of all let me say sikila mtu lazima ku influencer. Okay yeah. We need doctors man. Can we need imagine? doctors. Yeah, Tunahitaji blueberry <laughs> sound engineers. <laughs> Kuna content creators za kula sound engineers. You know so, like we sikila mtu anafaa kwa influencer, sikila mtu anafaa kwa content creator. People need to accept that just because it's a, a, a um a different form of income doesn't mean that everyone needs to flock there. Yeah. You can try it out but by the way it's not for you. Just leave. Just it. go on to the next thing, you yeah. know? Another thing, the same thing to Kenya Bien Ali sema. By the way Bien atana fa sasa tumleta pia hapa. Yeah, mazuri. Um don't be a slave to your audience. Don't be a slave. Your loyalty should be to your craft through and through. Yeah. That goes and extends even cause they wanna fanya 8 to 5. Yeah. Even if your boss is horrible, how akuli people are. Yeah. Ile siku another door will be open. You'll be ready because all you wanna fanya your best. Yep. To the job that you've been given. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's my take on that. Yeah. Actually kabla tunde the next question. Yeah. Kuna msali kwa Melissa Joy proposal and I don't think yeah, to make it. Oh, we did rate card, we didn't yeah. do proposal. Yeah. Sa so proposal, I get a lot of people who send me links to their pages. Yeah. Sana so sema okay. Mhm. Or people do that. And then <laughs> I'm say me hi, I would like to partner with your brand. Uh-huh. Kindly see my 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 link here, you know. Mm-hmm. But how a proposal should look like is who are you? Mhm. Right? Who are you as a person? Who are you on social media? Okay. Um break down your numbers for me. Usimpate kazi sasa tena ku click links na niona tafuta job. Tell me Instagram I have this link hyperlink that number. Yep. You know if you need me to go to the, to the yep. link. Um this is what you have on Instagram, Facebook, this and this and this. Take a screenshot of your insights as well. Yep. What's your audience segmentation? Audience segmentation sani? How many uh, men, men over women? women. 
follow age you. Group, age group, location, location, Nairobi. I need to see that. That's important to me because if you're approaching me, let's say for a brand for like NCBA, yeah. na he campaign that we want to run, maybe we want to target people who are 30 and above. Yeah. Now where audience yako eco from 16 to 24. Yeah. You see that doesn't make sense for my client. Yep. So those things are very important. And this is why I tell guys, influencer marketing is not so Im- simple. Yep. You know, also show me your engagement. Sh- give me a snippet of your insights. Umekoki gets how many views kwa Insta stories, kwa reels, kwa photos. Yeah. value. You know, um, the other thing would be, um, then l- tell me what you want to do for my brand. Give you like an example. An example. Usi juice a tenner because I get a lot of influencers have gone through the scenario where wana pena idea lafu wana pata. Joroga yep. mefanya idea yake. Joroga huko hivyo maima huko ndani hata ajui ku execute hiyo kitu. Mm, na huko pewa hiyo kazi. So how do you protect yourself from it? So you just idea. basically give bottom line ideas and say I would love to do a strawberry uh, strawberry cocktail um in Lamu. Strawberry cocktail. Oh, that's oh. oh like that's a strawberry strawberry cocktail in Lamu yeah. or for example, I have the concept of um or even tell me I have a podcast. Yeah. Then psycho, I have a podcast. Yeah. I, I I drop an episode every single week and we talk about this this and this. Yeah. And I thought your brand would really really plug in Vizuri Sana yeah. if I spoke about it in this way. Mm-hmm. To bring out the aspect of this and this and so this. So I'm painting that picture in your mind exactly. already. So but you're not you, giving me so that you can start seeing value. Yes. Wow. Ah, yeah. And then now from there, after you've given me all of that, yeah. Yeah. Um, also let me know what is the possible outcome. Yeah. You know? Oh. Like okay. what is the possible outcome? So many book on a podcast. Yeah. Sindio? Yeah. Unataku, partner na brand yangu. Yeah. Labda mini na uzanga mangu. Yep. You know, you've told me utavangu ngozangu kia moroko. Takuwa and takuwa nazi change katikati after every twenty minutes na basha team pia. Eh. Yeah. So tell me possible outcome. Yeah. Una grow una una side ya brand yangu ku grow yeah. even something like brand love, brand yeah. affinity. Hata kama haita lead to sales, you know? Oh. Una mwambia you know keeping your brand top of mind to consumers. Wait, take me na- let take us slowly. <laughs> so you've brought in something new here, Coco. Yeah. You're saying that necessarily all brands are also not just looking for sales. There are some brands that are looking for affinity, which you can tell us what that is. And let me tell you Ben, and I tell clients this all the time. Yeah. And people have argued with me and said, you know, have their own opinion, which is very okay because two truths can be opposing, but it doesn't mean yeah. either of them is wrong. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um me wanna influencers are not salespeople. Oh, that's a good one. Influencers are not salespeople. Mm-hmm. They're not. This is a content creator. This is a creative. Oh, let me let me tell you. Let me sorry, continue and then I'll tell because you. Because and that's a main chungu because some it mostly comes from brands who are attacking kufanya groundwork yep. to grow their own brand. When attack sasa influencer and the sack fanya sales, marketing, uh, procurement, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> yeah, fanya accounting, uh, accounting was idea in a medical na, camp, I'm, I'm, you are <laughs> home, and you should also do this feasibility study for their security. Imagine. <laughs> so, so on, on, on Saturday, mm-hmm. this exact uh, drama happened on Twitter. Uh-huh. So there was this brand that had contacted these ladies. Uh, she's actually a good friend of mine. She also has a podcast. She's called Sly. Mm-hmm. So she had... <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh, hey, but they hey, hey, hey. Sly wing, yeah. <laughs> so, so <laughs> she she had done this job for a certain client. Mm-hmm. And I think it's about hair products or something. Mm, mm. And then now they had delayed her payment mm-hmm. for like I think for 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 a while. So mm-hmm. she, you know, she's been trying to reach them. They're not responding. So she blasted them on Twitter. And fair enough. I mean, yeah, if you owe yeah. somebody money, just pay them. Even, yeah. Especially if they done the job. So this yeah. brand was so arrogant. The brand was super. I've never oh seen this God. kind of arrogance from a brand. It's just mm. a small business actually. Mm. So. First of all, they put a meme of uh, of 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 Tom and Jerry. So mm. it was like a cat and a knee. So so Jerry, sees Jerry's the mouse, mm. is pointing a gun at 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 at, at Tom, mm. and then Tom is saying, "You have five rounds. I have nine lives." <laughs> That's what the brand responded. Yeah, in a picture like like this is this is some Russian mob kind of business model, you know. And so so. The brand ikatumia odem do na madarao. They even went went on to post the the payment, the Mpesa confirmation payment on Twitter. We even with her own number, like with her details and everything. <laughs> let me let me Please. even finish. So now now later on the brand started complaining that uh. at ECG they didn't feel like there was conversion. 
They didn't feel like she brought in sales and all that stuff. Mm. And now this sparked a whole lot of conversation. You know, you know on Twitter, Twitter, everyone is an expert. Twitter, by the way, how yeah. I see Twitter, Kilam took on a degree <laughs> in, in opinions. Like everyone is a professor, a PhD. <laughs> so there were guys yeah. over there who were saying, hey, me, I can't play, pay these influencers. Ati, they don't give me conversion. And then mm. some other guys were also saying, that uh, influencers are not salespeople. They're not salespeople. They're marketers. So that yeah. conversation started over there. Please explain to us this marketing and sales so that guys can understand the difference. And also it's important to, to let people know and brands know that not all uh, KPIs are supposed to be conversion. Some want relevance, affinity. Tell us more. So quick one. Yeah. Quick maths. Please. Um... Every company has a sales team yep. and a marketing team, correct? Oh, it's not one. No. The way people think. No. There's a sales, there's a sales team yep. and there's a marketing team. Yeah. So why is influencer budgets under marketing and not under sales? Mm-hmm. Quick mathematics. Do it. Mm-hmm. Why is it under marketing and not under sales? Yeah. If you, and, and, and I understand because um, if you're going to, Pima, how much you're gonna pay an influencer? Do it from Ajafikisha KPIs. Labda yeah. umse Ajatangeneza content for for your brand. Yep. Mali hijafika zile KPIs zake hufika. Yep. Have that conversation. Yep. Lakini pegging an influencer's payment because of sales and you did not establish that conversations uh, that conversation in the beginning yeah. is very wrong and very unfair, yeah. right? And I understand that brands who give influencers coupon codes where yeah. I want to see the effectiveness of this influencer yep. uh, based on how many sales he's able to give me. Um, internally, what decide come out to move on with this person yeah. or not, if that is their primary goal. Yeah. yeah? Yep. But don't say you're not going to pay them because of that. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And let it just be like, um, let's just see how much we can get from influencers. Let it be like a, like a test. Yep. But let it not be a substitute of what your sales team is supposed to do for your company. Mm-hmm. So the sales team is in charge of conversion. Exactly. So even if, if you, even if you have a young business, it's very important for you to know that you need a department that will be fully, uh, whose sole responsibility is conversion. Not necessarily, yeah. uh, it's not the marketing team, the Opado, P&O exactly. conversion. Exactly. And sometimes even you will not get conversion because probably you're a new brand. Yep. You need to be focusing on educating the public on what you're, what you're doing as a company, what you're offering, yeah. instead of just saying, buy this. Buy it today, buy it now. But you've not told me, who are you? Yeah. What do you stand for? Umesengwa mm-hmm. nozana nini? How can I use your product in variety? I understand. And a lot of influencers, especially when I'm making my influencer strategies, which is a very big part of influencer marketing, um, is I actually put the beginning stages of a campaign mm-hmm. as education. Mm-hmm. So I need you to spend this time educating the public. What this is all about. What this is all about. And we did, did that with NCBA. Of course. Right? Yeah, because people don't understand that the public or the masses, they take time to process. Like, people just don't uh, see messaging and they absorb it immediately. Just because they've seen a billboard doesn't mean that they've processed what's on that billboard. Well, I assume might, yeah, consumers want to go next floor and do what do, you do. do, do. Yeah. 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 Like, their minds are, exactly. are, are, are wandering. And what you've said is very important because I was checking, because I'm a huge fan of F1. Oh, so okay. I used to ask myself, how does F1 earn so much money? Yeah, because I'm a huge fan of F1. Oh, so I used okay. to ask myself, how does F1 benefit these companies? Because it's so expensive. Mm. And then I finally understood after checking out a video by Ferrari mm. that they do not do billboards. You'll never walk anywhere and see a Ferrari billboard or Correct. a Mercedes. Very rare to even see a Mercedes billboard. Mm-hmm. But by the fact that, by the virtue that uh, Ferrari is on F1 mm-hmm. and they win, it automatically boosts their sales. So exactly. See, so you'll never see the Ferrari team in Ferrari go to question the F1 team. Hey, why, why aren't we selling cars? No, there's a team that focuses on conversion, mm-hmm. but this one focuses on brand affinity and yeah. you know the the attitude of the brand and all that stuff. Yeah. So this was a very hot debate uh, yeah. last week on Twitter. Yeah. Like I think kama watu ngeshikana mashati, yinae watu ngeshikana mashati because of this one. So the other question, Coco, that, that was here is how best to build a tribe as a content creator? A tribe, she's meaning, Sidani ya tiyanataka atisasa kwa yulisti ya wakalenji ni wakamba wakakuli, tiyanataka kuongeza ya ke, no, no, no. It's how to build a, a community. community. <laughs> yes. Please advise us on that. Oh, eh? That's actually very easy. Wow. 
that's very easy. How? Talk to your audience. Mm-hmm. I always give this example, right? Ukiwa kwa relationship. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Wanjiro, forgive me. Let mm-hmm. me, I have to use Ben. Sama mi nimekutana na Ben, right? Because I need you guys to understand this concept. Yep. And nimekutana na Ben. Uh, I mean, he likes what can he follow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. But Mimi na shinanga tu nikimwambia Ben me I like this perfume. Yeah. Ben me I like this nail pala. Me yeah. I like this shoes. Me yeah. I like this indomie. Me I like this you never give Ben to tell you. Pia yeye anataka nini? Mm-hmm. Pia yeye anapenda nini? At the end of the day you you know nothing about Ben. Yep. So how do you expect Ben to become to even stay with you? You never take time to engage with your audience. Yeah. You never get time to ask them wanataka kuona nini from you. Yeah. You never take time to even thank them for leaving a comment on your comment section. Yeah. yeah. You never take time kuwauliza manze natengeneza hii cocktail au cheese na nini. Sorry, I know this is a Christian. Even <laughs> well, yet my mind is really it's okay. It's okay. Go, to, go on. Yeah. Um ABL. Yeah. Um but simple things like that. Yeah. We are always so stressed about manze audience yangu hata high yeah. respond. Yeah. Lakini wewe umeuliza what they want to see. Yeah. So you don't you need to with connect with them yeah. like you need to be on the same level with them you can't feel like you are a bit too higher than them oh, CG, than you need to be on with them quite tangible very very important I mean, and, uh, and it's difficult i can imagine msia kona 1 million followers and are getting over 500 comments in a day it's impossible for you to comment to each and every one of them yeah but try the best that you can even if it's a, a mass thank you or a mass response yeah you can do that labda umeona wasi wengi kwa dms wako wamekuwa kikuuliza by the way what's that nail color that you use na ujaweza ku respond to everyone do a whole video on it yeah. and say okay i haven't been able to respond to everyone but i've seen your questions and this is what i Feel use jake candy does that very well yeah yeah jake candy has an army man candy is phenomenal she has a whole army but i mean we can if kenya was to go to war with an country now that's a community tuna, tuna enough soldiers Yeah. You can, you can donate. That, so, and 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 that's very important what you're saying Coco. And I've seen this with a, uh, with a couple of YouTubers mm-hmm. who sometimes who uh, uh, there's some YouTubers I've seen do this very very well. Like mm. for example, they were Jesus. There's just a way mm. they get that community thing. They get it right from the like that's some that's why a lot of these people have such a huge following. And another another thing that I've seen working is also giving your audience a name. Okay, yes. I've, mm-hmm. I've seen that. That's why even Beyonce has the the oh, na, oh, na uh, The Psycho Squad. Oh, like yeah, na okay. the Psycho Squad. But do you know but to me na feel na feel this is exploit your Gina Vizuri. I need to be calling them yeah. that more so that it feels like it's it's part of this it, we are we are part of this um community and what you've said is so true. Talk to them, go live a lot of times, um answer their questions, mm. uh relate with them. And other thing also is consistency. The more you're consistent, I used to think consistency is ba- is mm-hmm. gauged by views that you need to be doing well in terms of views on all the videos that you're doing. No. But consistency, somebody just told me that it it improves the trust that the people have on you. So they can trust yeah. you. They can trust that you will give them content next week. Mm-hmm. They trust that you'll give them content next week but one. At our support watch. Yeah, but no if no if, if if no matter how good you are, if you're not consistent, that works to your disadvantage. So that you need to be reliable. You need to be reliable and so relatable. that people feel like yeah, so that people feel like okay, this is I I like this guy, you know. Mm. And also, you know, like like peer ukwe mjanza when it comes to issues, the way you address issues. Don't make anyone feel like they've been left out very accommodative yeah, exactly you know? exactly and also being relatable you know um i'm not saying you know come and tell us your boyfriend is this that that yeah. you know or, or your personal life there's a way that you can be relatable and strictly keep it very basic mm-hmm. stuff to i bought this product i thought it would be really great for me yeah. but imagine how it work yep being honest even failures Exactly. In fact, you'd be shocked that that failures connect with people in ways you in fact I need we need to do another t- uh, podcast episode on failure. Specifically yeah. the title like failure because in your life experience? Yeah, life experiences, you know, that it's grief. Like grief. In fact, that that's that's the podcast that has the most views up yeah. to date like 
bado tujapita hizo views yetu tulifanya at that time so um koko thank you mm-hmm. so much man we are, we are learning a lot on this, on this on this is a very great conversation so as we because time time is running out man like we have at some point good things have to end man. by the way mwambie ben kwa comments if you need me back nimeambia ben tufanye two episodes hapa <laughs> ananiambia no 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 koko no let's no no no, no. <laughs> let's do this if you guys feel like we've not tackled the, the questions well and i'm feel there are some things that are very important and we've not mm-hmm. handled just leave them leave them on the comment section then i'll have koko back again ama tu kama mnataka vibes zangu ah this one is I'm fun ben. koko is I'm vibes ben rudishe koko is vibes for days you guys can <laughs> <laughs> detail man in fact before i bring somebody on the show one of the biggest one of the things that i really look at is if they have vibes because this place has this this is like vibes head school headquarters you know? yeah so that has you to be it. yeah that has to be there <laughs> so Coco, there's something that's uh been of uh, the elephant in the room also in the influencer space right now is the payment models the delay de- mm. uh, you do a campaign and then a certain agency delays your money mm. um there was a contract it's not mm. yet been followed mm. and then you are afraid of calling this agency out kwa sababu if you call them out watakwambia wewe tutakurudisha ushago <laughs> ama oh, oh, you don't know if they're handling all the campaigns tarudi <laughs> kwenyu yeah. wewe they're, Nairobi they're, they're, see yeah, they're literally <laughs> handling you. They're, they're literally the ones with the bug yeah. so if, if yeah. let's say if you bash this agency other agencies see you've bashed that so they're like oh we don't want to work with this one looks problematic mm-hmm. should somebody go about that hiyo hata mimi sina tips hiyo ni wewe utatuambia Um what I need to say and I want to be as honest as possible because yeah. at the end of the day that's why we're here. Yeah. Um and I'm just going to say both agency and both the influencers can be at fault. Yeah. Either the agency person is not dealing with this influencer the you know Vizuri. Yeah. Um I ile story nilikuwa nakwambia I was having an, a conversation with someone. Nani kama uh, akaniambia ti unajua huko nje wasi usema wewe ni mkali sana. Wewe ni mkali. And this is a guy this is a guy who's been in the industry for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, uh, nani kamuliza um okay so fine so wasi usema mimi ni mkali. I manishi nyu wasi wa muniongeleshi. Yeah. Nyu muniongeleshi but unajua ikifika job. Yeah. Ni job. Hakuna yeah. mambo mengine usianza kuniambia tu sijui nini nini nikikuwa ni, ni usinite besti <laughs> usinite babes usinite hata koko in fact my name is Vanessa to you yeah in fact during campaigns <laughs> it was so weird calling you Vanessa hi Vanessa yeah. I've just finished the video but yeah, yeah so it's so Vanessa when I'm working yeah. um um what's that nilikuwa nasema nini we're talking about how guys out there right say your mkali so nikamwambia but we we talk but we talk about jobo when a meeting needs to happen you need to be there on time you know yeah. vitukai hizo yeah. um but nikamuliza fine wase usema mimi ni mkali right um but what has been your experience working with me compared to other agencies huyo yeah. umse akaniambia i would not yeah. even want to work with another agency i'll testify that I, i agree with that as well you guys first of all you guys paid i think you even paid a few days before Earlier. the deadline and you see the thing is you because your case was actually dif- different we we i explained to you yep. what needs to happen yep. for me to make sure your payment is going to be ready on time kwa sababu saa zingine unaambia hawa communicate what's supposed to happen ama una communicate to the influencer halafu afanye so so the first yeah. mode of com- 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 conversation so when i start a campaign i should ask the should, is it okay for me to ask the client when are you guys going to pay me always in fact that should even be in your contract oh so it won't it look like i'm being be... too greedy or no professional blah ben. blah blah When I am coming in to work for your company. Yeah. Will you tell me when you're going to pay me five years from now? It is on the day before I accept that job that yeah. you will let me know that by the way we pay on the 30th mm-hmm. of every month. Yeah. Yeah. So even when you are being approached tunafaka kukwambia by the as we pay 60 days after umetuma report na invoice mm. ya month after umemaliza one month yeah. ndio tume report invoice alafu sasa ndio 60 days ianze unaona nishakuelezea yeah, yeah. so it's upon you as the influencer and this is very essential to happen in the negotiation stage so that the person can be able to decide whether this is something they want or not so what if you agreed on a date you signed the contract but on that date they've still not paid you now what needs to happen is you as the influencer also also needs to make sure that you have handed in your things on time okay let's say you've done all that You've done all that. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay. You've done Should all you that. You walk into that I place feel... utoke na dispenser, ama wenge uko utoke na coffee machine, you know. <laughs> I feel like there's a healthy way to go about it, but also this should be um detected early. Right? Yeah. Um communication is very important even to me. 
msee akichelewa meeting ama kama wivi attend na mwambianga kwa nini unaniambia saa hizi saa zile meeting nimeanza call me before uniambie by the way ama saa zile nikutumia uniambie by the way i, I won't be available you know what i mean um so um call your agency representative right and tell that hey um 60 days ni kama zimeisha unaweza niangalia hiyo do iko wapi so mika agency it is my responsibility to make sure that you as a creative and influencer is constantly informed on your payment because it is your right so i will let you know i i also need people to understand this that a lot of the times your agency representative yeah how ni finance like i cannot check the system so lazima ni call mse wa finance yeah and pegged on on his response yeah only can i respond to because you. that that's a problem i feel like i feel like companies wanna party accountants a lot of leaves do every time most of the times you call it this agency <laughs> maskia accountant ako leave accountant ako maldives hata simu aliacha hata simu ni mimi nimeshikilia hapa sasa hivi accountant alienda kufanya wa surgery accountant ah, accountant ako oh my god all my accountant friends are always at the office oh, yeah. but somehow for some weird ways Payment wa agency yako haiko wa agencies unaskia they are not in the office yeah na sangine na kuanga tu uongo but just be honest imagine with the influencer yeah. plus ndio ndio maana it's important to build a relationship with every influencer that you work with ndio yeah. hata ukimwambia you know payment ime delay anaelewa by the this yeah. this baby is not a nini yeah, is not an empty talker yeah. you know um so communicate tell them aya ime ime delay check it thank you so much for notifying me because if you don't tell me by the ni sijuangi yeah. i go and follow up with finance unaandika email unauliza wase by the way umse payment yake ime delay by this and this date when can we have this payment sometimes labda waliona ni kama wametuma for approval lakini haikupasiwa so yeah. wanasema let me follow up so yeah. wanaanza ku send in for approval okay. alafu waniambie um waniambie in one week ni i've sent it in for approvals ndio tunangoja yeah. in one week max two weeks msa tapata payment nirudi kwako ben ni kuambie yeah. so finance wameniambia hivi hivi na hivi you will not be happy yeah. that imepita hiyo 60 days yeah. but at least this person has definitely. taken initiative to communicate definitely definitely with you and tell you yeah. when you yeah. you know what i mean yeah, so it is cool. only when agency is unresponsive am every time they promise you this 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 na hapa ndio ukali yangu by the us idea inasaidia both agency na bado inasaidia nyika kwa sababu pia msio wako account msio wako account atakula your hit bado ai kwanza wakiona simu zangu anasema hi vanessa how are you msio <laughs> umtu pesa atakula nini <laughs> you know unenge kwa hiyo ofisi kwanza na tear gas kama umerusha hivi so that everything is confused first of all you know <laughs> nawaambia send me an email yeah. i need to understand wow. nani tumelipa nani atujalipa yeah. so kwa pia umkali yeah you know not atiku kuwa so un- unreachable no, yeah. no no not like that yeah. but it's being efficient efficient yeah thank you I so much answered. you have and you've really helped a lot of us and i'm sure also you've uh, you've helped a lot of guys Where can guys find you on instagram before i say please please when you're talking to your agencies make sure everything is on email oh not whatsapp nini nini Please make sure everything is on email. Mm-hmm. Oh, please make sure everything is on email every time. Yeah. Because by the time you're going to on Twitter, it means umekuwa so frustrated at labda hauna proof of email. Umse alikwambia atakulipa on this day on this day on this day. You yeah. hauna proof. So to avoid him by WhatsApp, WhatsApp. You can WhatsApp somebody, but always make sure you follow it up on email. on email. And say please confirm that you have said that payment will be nini 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 evil so that you always have tangible proof. Acha ni tu kwa jua kali. Unajua ma creatives saingine na get admin wake na kuanga very hectic oh, for you. It, But it is very essential because this you are in the corporate industry now. Yeah, you sure. have to conform. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking your time just to come here and advise us and give us thank tips. You. I'm sure I'll be calling you again soon. Yes. We need to have another episode because we have so much to talk about me and you. Yes. Any parting shot that you'll tell guys in the content creation industry? Um start start now yeah start with your phone yeah. start with your android yeah. you know don't wait until we buy an iphone 11 na yeah. lights na studio na blueberry ndio yeah. muanze ku shoot content <laughs> yeah. start where you are in your living room i shoot my content videos in my in my office at home yeah. and sina plastic plants yeah. or anything i just shoot as is so start with what you have and then you'll scale up from there yeah. the minute your, your business starts giving then you yeah. are able to reinvest back into your business but create content just because it makes you happy to create yeah. the other thing is um you know be yourself yeah 
um, be yourself, be true to who you are, and always do what makes you happy. Yeah. Be careful of also how you make others feel when you're creating your content. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, feel free to follow me on my Instagram. Yeah. Mina kwanga tuna Instagram. Mina kwanga sinanga Twitter, ama Facebook. I'll share her, the, the, her, the, a link to her Instagram page in the description box below. Yes. Thank you so much once again for coming through. We appreciate you. Thank you so much Thank for watching. You. Make sure you subscribe uh, if you're listening on Spotify, iTunes as well. Leave a comment, share. God bless you. See you on the next episode. This is the Psycho Podcast. Ciao.